Hey, hey, hey! Welcome or welcome back to Melinda's and Ray's Messy Sink. We are so sorry, you all, that we missed our video last Monday. So, Ray, do you want to tell them about your shift change? I changed um, hours this past week. I change hours every six months. So I'm on a noon shift. I'm on a Sunday through uh, Thursday now instead of a Monday through Friday. So on Sunday, when we were normally fil filming, um, I have started working and working. So we didn't do a good job of planning last weekend on his first weekend. I woke up Sunday morning, I was like, oh no, he's not here. So then we planned on doing it Sunday night. He worked overtime and then on and on and on, it turned into a situation. So we're currently filming this on Saturday, but you're gonna be seeing it on Monday evening. So today we wanted to give you an update on how things are going. Um, I'm so excited. This is our fourth week on the carnivore diet. We've had some challenges, y'all, as we shared. Um, we've also had some wins, and so we're really excited um, about this journey. We still have a ton to learn, but you guys are helping us a ton. We wanted to share, I got a couple little post-it notes for you. I, we wanted to share um, some non-scale victory wins. So y'all, the comments have been a wide range of things for us. Um, they've been learning opportunities um, for things that we didn't know. They've been um, setting the record straight for things that we thought we didn't know. They have been, um, you know, boosting us up, encouraging comments. And then there have been some pretty um, tough comments on us telling us to get it together. It's our health we're talking about. And I want to tell you how much we appreciate all of those comments. They help us in different ways. Um, some of those things were kind of hard to hear, like, suck it up, get it done, your health is the most important thing, and I was like, dang. But then once I really started thinking about it, I was like, he's right, or she's right. It's truthful. <laughs> so one of the main comments that we did get is to ditch the scale. Go by how your clothes are fitting you, go by inches, go by your appetite, um, those kinds of things, but ditch the scale, all it does was um, measure gravity. So we're taking that to heart um, because whenever we weren't losing, um, whenever we were struggling, it was kind of a demotivator for me. So it's heart-wrenching when you don't lose any weight and you see the scale being the same that you just kind of lose a little focus on what you're supposed to be doing. And that was a problem for me. So yeah, you may see this little brown thing running all around my house. Somebody put a comment in asking if that was a squirrel. No, that is my cat, Allie. So she um, has really um, energetic periods of time and it's usually in the mornings and then in the evenings. So whenever we were filming these in the morning, that's why she was running all around the house. Um, you may see her up here with a paw showing, those kind of things. But we have um, a cat named Allie and we have a black lab named Abe. All right, for real now this time, non-scale victories. So Ray, I wrote some stuff down and feel free to chime in anything you okay. can think of, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So the first thing I said was um, that it, we do, I don't spend a lot of time doing any kind of um, planning meals, making grocery lists. I just don't have to plan out the week of what we're gonna eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I do have to make sure that meat is thawed. I do have to do that, but I don't have to sit down with a pen and paper. We don't have to have a conversation. Um, about what I would need to buy at the grocery store, those kinds of things. The next thing that I can say is a non-scale victory is that we're saving money from not eating out. Um, we like to eat out a lot and we've been able to cut that way back, um, mainly because we don't have a whole lot of confidence um, in, um, in eating carnivore while eating out. Um, we're just not quite there yet mentally. So, um, so we are saving money by not eating out. Another big one um, is we do not have nearly as many dishes to wash. Nope. Yes. 
So the the dishes that we're washing washing are just minimal things like plates, silverware. Or my lunch bucket. Yeah, his lunch. His. Well, I take my lunch in. Yep. So that makes it a breeze. And, and then that in turn makes it easier to keep the kitchen clean too. So um, so that's a big non-scale victory for both of us because we share that responsibility. Um, the next thing um, that I would say is that um, it is nice having the meal prepped food in the refrigerator. So let's say that we've waited too long to eat, just being able to go grab something and heat it up and to be on plan is a big bonus. Ray, um, we, we both like to sleep in in the mornings as much as we can. And so Ray, are you saying yes? Yes. Oh, <laughs> so Ray will um, sleep to the last second and then he can just grab the stuff that he needs for his food for the day because it's ready, it's in the right portion size, containers, those kinds of things. I can get up within 15 minutes and be out the door. Um, obviously, he takes a shower the night before. And I don't have to comb my hair. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. Mm -hmm. The next thing that I was trying to read my own writing. So um, the next thing that I've been hearing about and we've been watching lots of YouTube videos about is the intermittent fasting. And for us, we're not really trying to fast, but it's just kind of happening. Um, where we're not hungry. Um, I can say some days I'm pretty hungry and I don't think I've eaten enough protein or enough fat. So we're still trying to make sure we get that balance. But there's some days I'm not hungry at all. And there's other days where I feel like I got to eat something else. I got to eat something else. So some days I can go off. I can eat the breakfast, eat a good breakfast. And then by the time I get my uh, snack at work, I'm good for the rest of the day. So okay, I can go a pretty good chunk of time without having to eat. So. I typically don't eat my first meal until probably sometime around one o'clock in the afternoon. And then um, I, if I have to have that second meal, I make sure that I have that second meal before six o'clock. And if it is, it's me just kind of picking it a little something um, just to make sure that I don't get hungry later. So I usually go from around six o'clock all the way till one o'clock. Um, I am drinking water in there, my electrolytes, um, those kind of lots, things though. Lots of water. Yeah. You can't drink enough water on this diet. Yeah. I, I, I think that's what helps me stay full sometimes, mm -hmm. is drinking a whole lot of water with the electrolytes. Good thinking, that's a really good call out. So another thing that's been a non-scale victory is the bathroom situation is improving. And we're trying to learn um, just exactly how much fat we need in our diet to make us um, quote unquote regular um, so that we're not running to the bathroom or we're not having problems going to the bathroom either way. Can you think of anything else that's been a big victory for us? No, other than the weather's getting nice and being able to get the grill out and get some grill food. Yeah. Um, what about... Um, how are you whenever it comes to energy level? I have a lot more energy. Um, I can stay up a lot longer and I'm not, when I get off work, I just want to go straight to bed. Even though if I work long hours, then I do want to go to bed, but it's been, it seems like I have a lot more energy at work and a lot more time to, to do what I need to do. So for me, I feel like, I don't know if I feel like I have more energy so to speak, like I'm not bouncing off the walls more energy, but I am not as lazy. So I, I do have more energy, I guess. And my sleep has gotten a whole lot better too. Oh, that's good. So yeah, um, I'm sleeping throughout tonight again, so. Yeah, good. So go back to my energy. I think um, I'm not like, when I get off work, I'm not like, just let me just lay on the couch for the rest of the evening um, because I wasn't feeling that great from making the transition to this diet. Um, so I am getting more things done in the evening, but I'm not like bouncing off the walls um, with a to-do list and blasting through it. I'm not quite there yet, but I have noticed a subtle change in the fact that I'm not really wanting to sit around. So that's a bonus. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we just wanted to give you a good update. Uh, we wanted to apologize for missing our video um, last Monday, but we wanted to let you know that we were okay. 
Um, also wanted to tell you guys, thank you for checking on us. Um, we did have some people reach out to us to say, hey, how are you guys doing? We haven't heard from you. And we really, really appreciate that so much. Like we said last video, what's keeping us going and keeping us motivated is very much all of you and your sweet comments. And even the hard ones that tells us to get our act together. We need those too. See you in the next one. Don't forget, Jesus loves you. Have a good day.